get reported. Okay, so we're going to have um, a few people joining us in a week or so. Um, Sunday was just one of those moments where a few people were like, yeah, um, <laughs> which is awesome, but they're in overwhelm because I know that they're both Guardian connected Diplo area. And so yeah. they're like, I can't join tomorrow, but I'll be on the next one. So the cool thing is, is that throughout the year, there will be some new people joining here, there and everywhere, which will be cool because you will learn from them and they will learn from you and vice versa. Yes, that sounds good. Yay, Katie's on. Hey, Katie, all the way from Tamworth, my hometown. I'm so, ex I'm stoked about that. Okay. Ah. So we're just going to give it a few seconds longer and then I'm going to, just a few seconds, because I just want to see if Joe's going to jump on. If not, we're going to get straight into it. So how's everyone feeling today? Yes, good. Um, inflammation seems to be a bit lower. Mm -hmm. and, um, and not that the scales are showing it, but I think I'm losing weight. <laughs> the scales can be deceptive. It's more about how your clothing feels. Yeah, well, it's feeling better. Awesome, awesome. Katie, anything? You only had a look at your profile last night. Anything pop up for you? Nope, she's gone blank. We might have lost her. Maybe not. Shanae is unfortunately at the moment feeling very sick, so we're going to just, she can do hand movements if she wants to, <laughs> and we'll be okay with that. Trying not to talk too much. I have a bucket in case, so if my video goes blank, you don't want to see <laughs> I think most of us have either got kids, had kids, or dealt with people spewing, so it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm hoping Katie can still hear us, but what I'm going to do is jump into so i was just saying before that this week is going to be a presentation and it's not what we're we going to do all the time this week's going to be a fair bit of information so if you have to go jump off and we will um you'll just have to watch the replay um but if you just do yourself a favor hey katie thank you so today i'm going to do a presentation and if you need to jump off at any time just mark on your phone or something the time you jump off okay you should be able to see on your screen somewhere um a time maybe no okay um, if not. i tap on, if i tap on my screen and then it brings up the time on there cool awesome good i can never quite remember what you guys can see and what i can see <laughs> um okay so, so what I, other, Shana, go for it. sorry go for it so what I was I was trying to say was the only thing I, yes, I tried to read as much as I could, but I had a better sleep but for at least I feel like a little bit better that I didn't have such a disruptive sleep. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. You've just, you've just peeled back the first layer of the onion. So you've got another two weeks. And so the reason why I took it from weekly calls to bi-weekly calls is I get there's a lot there, there's a lot to be gone through, but I want to give you more, more time because I know that in one week you'll be like, okay, here's the task and you have every intention of doing it and suddenly a kid gets sick, the dog gets ran over, something happens and you just cannot physically do it that week. So I find that having two weeks to get things done is just so much nicer and easier. Um, and Shanae, I know that you are our one and only sensor, but um, I also know that you are an overwhelmed sensor. So I thought you may appreciate the extra time as well. Yeah. Definitely. Now, at any time, I love everyone's feedback. And the reason why I've changed my group to this setting is because of one of my clients' feedback. She's not on yet. Um, so if you sit there and go, you know what? I don't quite like the way this is delivered. I don't quite feel like it gels for me or whatever. Give me the feedback because I am an open book. I am a marshmallow. I am moldable. <laughs> I am happy to be, you know, I'm happy to learn and create more and, and facilitate you all in whatever way that needs to be. Okay. Awesome. And just whilst we're doing the recordings, if you have a look on your screen down in the bottom left-hand corner, there is a little mute button. Whilst, you oh, yeah. are, whilst I'm doing that, this, just tap that. And when you want to talk, tap it again and it'll unmute you to come back in. So that way when we're recording, any background noise won't come through. And if a kid runs through the room or a boss runs through the room, we're not going to be worried. So if you just want to jump in and tap that one for me. Perfect. Okay. And Katie's already, Katie's a, a, a well-driven uh, Zoom user. 
Okay, so what we're going to do today, I want to jump into a bit of a presentation. If you have any questions along the way, you can type them into the chat and you can interrupt me. I am totally fine with being interrupted. Um, but I want to give you guys as much love and as much information today to feed your brains and get you underway and know that some of you started before Christmas, that's fine. And I said to all of you, you get to restart again and you've got an entire six months to get underway and get through this because I understand Christmas and New Year's, you would have been like, what the actual fudge? I don't know how to even get this started. There's too much happening. So that's my gift to you guys. And also a gift to me because it gave me the opportunity to be more present for you all. Um, so without further ado, let me share a uh, my little um, presentation because I get so proud of myself when I do presentations because it's not my gift. So let's go Ooh, presenting. Okay. Week one, self-evolution. Great. And I want to have, oh, wait, what are you doing here? One second, guys. Hold it for the idiot. Hold it for the idiot. All right. Okay. We're good. <laughs> okay. So you've all gotten a lot of new awarenesses, I'm sure. Some of you may agree with what's in your profile. Some of you may not so much, and that's totally okay. Later on, we will be having a conversation about natural versus habitual. But this week, um, this week, it's all about each of your individual journeys and understanding how we can best. Oops, shivers. What have I done here? <laughs> okay, and how you can best um, own your experience. So each of you are on your own. Each of you are your own ex expert, and you will inherently hold all the answers you need within you. I'm just here as a coach to ask you the right questions, give you the activities and be a great listener and, and help you with guiding you through this, this labyrinth that is your incredible individual being. Because none of you are the same and all of you are very complex and all of you have your own situations and your own lives that we're navigating through on top of this journey. My goal is to assist you in discovering the value and importance of health and a balance in your life, then support you to make sustainable action and in order for your behavior to be sustainable, it's important that you reflect on your beliefs and what you value to be important. So the first one to six weeks, uh, sorry, one to four weeks is all about awareness. So the month of January, it's awareness. You cannot fail this month. You cannot fall behind this month. Okay. That's so important. None of you can fail. None of you can fall behind because all we're doing is gaining the awareness. You don't have to get anything perfect and you do not have to do everything at once. It's really about understanding that this is baby steps. You have your whole life ahead of you and we are just giving you the lesson, the learning. When you go to become a doctor, you don't go into uni the first day and become a doctor. You spend the five to six or nine years learning to become a doctor and then you come out and you start practicing it, right? So you guys are in the uni phase. Okay, so there's no getting it wrong. You're going to be doing some studies. You're going to be doing some assessments. You're going to be doing some crack and some exams. But at the end of it, you then start practicing. You then start getting the uh, perfectionisms and the, uh, the specifics. Okay, so please understand that for sure. The first stage, like I said, um, we want to be looking at the behaviors. So just observing your amounts of energy throughout the day, the choices and the responses that you are choosing in your day-to-day -day life. I'll assist you in identifying the behaviors and thoughts and give you rise like positive. Like we want to be looking at positive and negative outcomes and how they make you feel and think about these negative or positive outcomes. And then we plan what to do around them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So we'll be things like constantly checking in with how do you feel or how do you not want to feel? Why do you want to feel this way? Why do I not? want to feel this way just checking in because constantly we can go into this sabotaging pattern of i've fucked up or i've failed but it's not that it's just the fact that i chose a poor choice in that moment because i was reacting to something else going on around me so um we do we are going to go through you'll see that there are a lot of tools i've added into each of the units and the units have been um just design, like I've said many times, so that you can work your way through this as you require, as you can. If you're on the smaller package, you've got three months. If you're on the larger package, you've got six months. You've got six months access to the coaching. You've got six months access fully to the, um, the units. You have a full year access to PH360. So you've got plenty of time, but don't leave it to the last minute because that's what diplomats do. Don't do that. <laughs> um, 
Then when we're moving from the weeks five to 12 is going to be discipline. Five to 12, okay? Discipline is during the second stage. This is where we begin to become more responsible, responsible for your behaviors. We build discipline and spend considerable amount of energy accepting and overcoming the challenges we are presented with when creating our new behaviors because you're not going to get it right. Many of you have done a bit of, some of you have done spiritual work and that's like they say, just before your growth period, it gets really ugly and really hard to ensure you peel back the layers the most effectively and really truly grow into the new space. And this happens with our um, behaviors that we are choosing around our health and our well-being. So we may need to constantly revisit back into tools and back into different aspects and different units. And throughout the time, I may tell you to reference back to week one, week two, week three, wherever it is to one of the modules and just revisit what you did before and maybe go back into that. Um, and then the final stages of our um, getting through this is weeks 12 and onwards. And that's the anatomy. That's the final stage. This is where you've successfully created new behaviors and new habits that require much less energy. Because remember, when we're building something, that's the hardest part, right? The initial energy investment, that's where it is so hard. You want to quit. You want to fight it. You want to rebel against it. You're going to sabotage. Weeks 12 and onwards, if you slowly use the Kaizen process of step-by-step, -step, little, little tiny 30-second improvements, then, I, by the way, give me your hands up. Who has actually seen the Kaizen post in the units? No. Awesome. That's going to be in your week one. Um, week one or week two? It might even be week two. So you will get there. But when you get it, you're going to sit there and go, awesome. Now I understand. And now I feel so at ease. I really feel at ease. Like, um, so just know that it will all come in time. So I really want you guys to get to the anatomy phase um, in your own time, because we all want to be getting a healthier, balanced life with less energy and less changes to implement into our daily lives. I want you to know what to do and to have the discipline to actually do it. And it's all about um, one big conversation there is that, um, and I was going to do a live about this was um, a lot of people have done diets. You've all done some diet of some kind, the Atkins, the keto, the, the whatever they are. And a lot of them tell you what you can eat and what you can't eat. Now this is very different because we're not telling you you can or cannot eat. It's more about going, here is the knowledge of knowing that if I'm to eat these foods, I'm actually fully nourishing my body with these top foods on my list. So how can I get creative and have fun filling my plate and every meal? It's like a little fun challenge. I'm like, how can I put as much of those top nutritious foods into my meal as I can each part of the day? I'm not not having anything. I'm just choosing that I'm going to have fun and find how to nourish myself the most amazingly that I can. And the cool thing is, is you have a tool like no other that shows you exactly what that needs to look like. Oh, actually, go back. Um, then also in week one, we have the Wheel of Life. Some of you have done the Wheel of Life before. It's not a mandatory one. It is totally optional, but it's kind of cool to give you a little bit of perspective a little bit of perspective on where your life is actually sitting. Cause it's really easy. A lot of you would go into the, just get through my day, just get through life. Everything's fine. I just need to get through today and get into tomorrow. Right. Bit of a nod there. Yeah. So it's the wheel of life is great for you to get a little bit of a check in and go, all right, where am I actually at with each of these sections of my life? And where can I maybe look at adding some more improvements or being a bit more focused and energetically connected to these things? One that is mandatory is the reset your mindset because this one really, really deeply goes into why are you here? Breaking it down. You're not going to get this perfect, but you are here to understand what is my mindset around changes? What is the mindset I have had in the past that has been a sabotaging mindset that has caused me to stay stuck inside of my loop compared to where can I go to that is the simplest, easiest, best feeling solution right now? It's like when we go into holidays, we know we're going to have the stuff over Christmas. We know we're going to have all the naughty things. And um, actually, you know, even better one is um, I had a client who had a family member pass away and she went, I can't do any of this. I'm too stressed. I have too much going on. Most of you would relate with that would be pretty full on. The conversation there needs to be, you're right, but 
your health is the only way you're going to get through this. Your mindset, your body, your ability to get through this will depend on whether or not you're looking after and nourishing your body. So what are the smallest, easiest steps? And each one of you is going to hit a point in here where you're going to get so overwhelmed. Katie's nodding madly. Thank you. <laughs> um, you're going to get so overwhelmed. And I want you to know that you have these cool little tips and tricks of like, okay, what is, use the tweaklies. You will see the tweaklies in each section in each week. The tweaklies is your go-to of like, what is the simplest, easiest thing that I can win at this week? Is it getting spinach into my meals each day? Is it having another glass of water per day? Is it going for a walk and breathing? Is it meditating for 10 minutes? What is the simplest, most easiest win I can have? Because if you focus on the wins and not on what you're not doing, you will then focus on another win and you'll have a better feeling in you to empower you to make more better decisions. Awesome. Um, each week in the tweaklies, they are quite simple. It is just one to three things. If you're having a terrible week and you're like, I just woke up and reminded myself to smile today and get over it. That's good enough. Like if you're having that week, own it, totally be in that space, bring all of your ugliest self to me because I cannot judge you because I would have done it myself a million times over. So remain accountable with each other. Useless tweaklies in each unit and stick to your guns. What is the simplest things I can be doing? Use the tweaklies to keep on top of that um, and share any of the thoughts and feelings that are coming up for you because I guarantee you every time I've run these programs, someone has come up and gone, oh, thank you, Katie, for sharing. I went through that last week and I was in tears. And I didn't know what to do and I know it's going to happen again and you just told me what you did and that feels amazing or you know, you and I will have a conversation that will help someone in the group reflect on some part of their life or someone else in their life going through something similarly. So don't hide the magic. Okay. Um, okay. That's not the one I wanted. Oh, no, wait, it is. Go back. See, anyone can run a program far out. Okay, so um, personalization looks is really about looking to maintain your healthiness by assessing you as a whole human now. It takes into account your genes, your environment, and formulates a treatment and prevent and prevent prevention strategies <laughs> based on your unique background conditions and current state of health. This is what PH360 is and why it is so unique for you and why there is so much and why I've made this platform to help you bite it down into bite-sized chunks rather than trying to just, rather than having the avalanche come smashing you over the head. Okay, so how is this program different to normal programs? It is very precise. It is predictive using all the 15 different sciences and technologies. It is preventative. If you can just follow what is given to you inside this program, we will be able to prevent future problems. We will be able to strengthen and balance your entire body, your entire lifestyle, so that you are the unstoppable force that you were created to be. Um, and of course, um, it is participatory, which is about you will eventually share your stories. You will share your experiences. In the self-evolution um, and beyond garden group, the public group is where I would love you guys to share your experiences. If you find a recipe and you're like, loving this recipe this week, share it in the public group. Because my mission, as some of you may know, is that by 2000, or in the next year, I would like to get to the point of helping 500 people per year. If I can help 500 people per year find balance, peace, and understanding of their incredible uniqueness, then that's me having a, something to do in this world that is great and something that I can really change. And I know that each of those 500 will go out and change 500 people's lives. I want to be a ripple effect and help as many people as we can to understand that your individuality is your power, not your demise. Your individuality is your genius that was meant to be replicated only to you and no one else. That's why you're so individual. But that is my thing is to have as many people knowing about this as possible. Hence why I want you guys sharing in the public group as well as doing your work in the unit group. Does that make sense? Yeah, so work gets done in, this, in the um, and beyond group and shares get done in the main group, in the public group. Unless it's something totally personal, obviously, then you're only going to share it in the group or send it straight to me. Um, and then, yeah, that's the promotion. So lifestyle changes make a huge impact on us. And the thing is, and the thing that is so different about this is how many of you would have sat there and gone, all right, I need to run, I need to run, and I need to be doing bike riding, and I need to be doing all the cardio to get healthy. Whereas some of our bodies, like our crusaders, 
they're the ones that are designed to be the multi the marathon runners and whatnot. The guardians and the diplomats, we're not built for that. We are too heavy set. We're the ones that are built for strength. We are built for slow. We are built for nature. The um, people like our senses are built for flexibility and creativity and artistic design. They're not designed to be in the gym lifting heavy weights. Um, if they are going to do the gym, it should be light weights and high repetitions and more movement and flow. Our, our senses are our ballerinas. Our guardians are our strong men and strong women. Our uh, connectors and activators are our crossfitters. They're fiery. They're aggressive. They just go, 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 go. Our diplomats are our um, usually in the army and they also do long haul marches and things like that. But then the other aspect is, is understanding you guys now have the understanding of should I be eating cooked food or should I be eating raw food, right? How many of you were under the misconception that you should all have salads? Whereas Shania, I'm like, I want you to stop eating salads, right? I want you to eat cooked food. I want you to keep warm. I want you to be nourishing that body. Um, and this is the key component of this program is understanding that this will be the defining difference in giving you the power of knowing what should I be doing and what should I not be doing to really harness this. Okay, so the secret of prevention is a lot of illness and disease can be prevented by knowing what you are needing and why you are needing it different to other people. I'm constantly having these conversations in the gym here about templates. So again, are you a warm, humid climate? This is more for our ectomorph. You guys are designed for North Queensland. Cool to dry climates. Diplomats and guardians are actually best in New South Wales, right? Um, our, and, and our activators are also due for the, the northern suburbs. They're great with the heat. Um, then we look at, you know, should I be mostly vegetarian? There's our endomorphs, mostly animal proteins. That's more of our ectos, our crusaders, and our activators, um, and our sensors. You guys are actually, and some diplomats, are actually really, really good at digesting proteins as they are. And so understanding that there is a difference between each of you and it's very unique. This program really is about um, learning the how and being guided and supported through the incremental changes required to um, get you from point A to point B and then celebrating the small wins as much as you possibly can. It's about participation, progress. This will equal satisfaction. Um, it's a part of your everyday life. So making sure that it's incorporated to so have the conversations with your loved ones, with your workmates and have the conversations about what you've been doing and where you're shifting to so that they can understand how to support you best. Um, we, I'm trying to make this as relatable as I can for you. And if you find like something I'm saying or how I'm teaching is not relating, please reach out to me. Let me allow, allow me the opportunity to elaborate and speak a better language for you. Cause yes, at times in the group, I can sometimes uh, give information in one format. Um, I will constantly try to jump around and give you the different ways, but please, please, please reach out and have that conversation with me. And we're trying to make this as easy as we can. So, um, little bite-sized chunks, bit by bit. Um, and the integration of the six-week program is where I want to be supporting you guys the most. I want to give you guys all of my love and energy via Messenger, via these calls, via the Facebook groups, um, so that you guys can get the most out of this. Now, most of us would be time poor. Most of us get stressed. I know each one of you has spoken to me about overwhelmed. And we're spending more and more in healthcare than we are facing, and, and yet we're still facing more chronic disease than ever before. Um, so... Uh, let us know how to get them. Yeah, so this program lets you know how to get the most out of your moments. And then we're going to get soon into your bang for buck for each of the different health types. So our diplomats in the house. Who's our diplomats? Woohoo. So diplomats is a later breakfast, nothing but fluids. First meal as, um, as per your profile. Um, finding a way to be calm in the morning and deep breathing. Then we also want to be having later training, matching your fitness timing wheel, slower strength based on low to moderate cardio in the afternoons, avoid failure based hit and hit training in the morning. Just stay away from it guys. It's not worth it. Lunch is your biggest meal. You're generally going to be having up to 150 grams of protein, root vegetables and lots of vegetables from your top list. Go, go, go for it. If um, most of these notes are also in the units under diplomat. Um, time and space, owning your schedule and being on your own time. Plan everything for the next morning, the previous night. Do that. This will help with your satisfaction and your sanity. Plan your food and exercise for the next day. Plan your work schedule so that you know what's coming up. Declutter your space. Declutter your rooms at home, in your office, anything that might be causing you the most of stress. 
Um, important considerations is uh, time and space is important. Allow yourself to have um, your own goals and your own your time. Um, I said to diplomats, allow an hour in each of your day for whatever, just in case, because guaranteed something will pop up. And if you're in any way stressed and you don't have some spare time lying around, you will freak out and the rest of your day will cop a ripple effect from that stress. So having a bit of extra time in lieu somewhere in your day that you can throw things into will be the saving grace. Um, so yeah, and really the language is, this does not have to start all at once. Find a time that you're going to be able to get this started. Find a time you're going to be able to go shopping. When are you going to be able to go cooking? When are you going to be able to prep? When are you going to be able to do the cleaning? When are you going to have no children at home? You can get into this or you can do a meditation. Get in and, and look at your day and understand where are the time frames and what could get in the way. Um, moving on, activators. So I'll go quickly through the activators because we haven't got any activators in here. But activators, make sure they are moving. It, moving is the absolute key. Higher intensity, longer induced base work and endurance based work can they can do, um, but it's more short, fast, and then rest. But they do need to get rest. It's highly important for them to get enough rest every day or else they will reach um, mental or um, physical fatigue. Um, so they must stop and do some small meditations and things like that. Um, getting the right fuel in. These guys are all about red foods, focusing on lowering grains and lowering dairy. Um, so this is just showing you guys some of the vast differences between your different health types. Um, get it off your chest. Who has a friend that is just fiery and aggressive and speaks their mind at the turn of a hat? Has anyone got a friend like that? Yeah. They're more than likely an activator. These guys are the ones that just, they speak their truth in the moment. They just verbal vomit it and they have to get it out. They're boiling, they're bubbling over and they just have to go bleh. And then once they've said it, they've pretty well said it. And they may spend one more day talking and processing it, but then they're done, okay? And especially if there's someone who's good and healthy and they're moving and they're staying active, they will move that problem out of their body very quickly. So if you're a diplomat that comes back two weeks later and goes, hey, Karen, you know that thing you said the other day? Well, I was thinking about that and it really upset me. They're going to go, what the hell did you bring that up for? Like, why, why would you bring that up again? I processed that the other day and I'm over it. It's not a problem. Why are you bringing this up and making it a problem? Because they've moved through it. So a little bit of love for our activators and their instantaneous behaviours. Um, it's very, very important for them to be, they are definitely action over theory. These are the ADHD kids that you got in school. These are the ones that just love a challenge. They love variety and change. So when we get to notice that about them, we get to love them for that because without our activators, diplomats and guardians would become very sedentary and become very comfortable in life. So our activators keep life interesting. Uh, water break. Uh, that's right, slideshow users. Okay, crusaders. So, so crusaders are very, very important for them to have their power hour. There's a 20 minute window in the evening, which is the most crucial bang for buck for them. It's about understanding if they don't rest in that evening time, they will get fatigued. If they can rest in that evening time, they will up their productivity tenfold. Um, crusaders environment is very important. They need to be in a productive space surrounded by um, the same kind of productive people. If not, they need to figure out how they can increase their environment for productivity and have a clear, concise, simple environment for them to work in. They need to exercise correctly, knowing that they are light to moderate weight. Uh, they can do failure-based um, and rotational exercises because their spine and their ligaments become very, very rigid. They keep their food simple. These guys are great to use food um, slow cookers and eat really well slow cooked warm food all of the time uh, and prep all of their food at once. Like just get it done and so they don't have to think about it and they can be more on point and on target. The important considerations is that these guys are always going to want to know why. Why do I have to? Why is it important? Why does it matter? Why would I do this when I'm already doing what I'm doing over here? And some of you may resonate with these different health types. You might be like, I do that. So remembering that each and every one of us is a percentage of each health type. This is what makes you unique. There is no other human that has the same percentages of each of the health types as you. So you will resonate with elements of the different health types, which is exactly why we're doing this little slideshow right now. So you'll be like, oh, I've got a bit of crusader in me. Um, so these guys are very detail-orientated. 
orientated, but these guys are the pioneers. You couldn't give them an empty canvas and ask them to create. You give them the subject matter and they will become the, the smartest, most professional, most knowledgeable human in that thing, okay? Um, and for them, it's understanding this, this, this program takes the current science and puts it together for your body specifically. It's worth experimenting with this to know how your body will respond because they, these guys are the ones that go, but I know best about my body and that's how I work. So I know best. So who, who are you and who are you to tell me what to do? And these guys are the ones we challenge to just get in and give it a go and you tell me what the data says. So our guardians. Guardians is a lighter dinner, vegetables or soups or broth at dinner. Avoid proteins and carbs at nights as, as often as possible. Training at nights is really, really good. Um, if you are training at nighttime, then you can have a little bit more carbs or a little bit more protein. Um, your movement is key. Heavy strength training and slow cardio four to five times a day, a week. Okay? Four to five times a week, nothing strenuous. I don't want you running. Um, avoid higher intensity exercise before 10 a.m. Same with our caffeine. Try and avoid our caffeine before 10 a.m. and your body will respond much better throughout the rest of the day. Avoid simple sugars at breakfast. Um, vegetable smoothies with some berries as the only fruit for breakfast. So things like berries, which is fully antioxidants, is good. No bananas, no mangoes, no, no, none of those high sugar fruits. Leave them for lunch if you really must. Um, Vegetable casseroles and things with a mix of some egg whites, that sort of thing is an awesome, awesome breakfast. Um, and generally it's between um, 10 to 2 is the best time for you to have carbohydrates for, for guardians. Uh, reduce your red foods for guardians. Okay, reduce your red foods. So um, by 50% as soon as possible. So red foods, I mean, everything that comes up in your food list with a red asterisk or a red, the red symbol beside it as an avoid, please avoid those foods. Find a way to reduce those foods from your diet by 50% throughout this program and you will be feeling amazing. Okay? Um, or if, you, if you're not trusting it and you've got something that you've got a crux on, like if there's something that you're like, but I can't do without that thing, why don't you just simply trial it for five to six days of the week? Or maybe start out with two days. Let's start out simple. Like start out with two days, none of that thing, and see how you feel. Then add another day, see how you feel, and continue like that. Um, and plan in the red foods when you're going to have them. So if you've got Christmas coming up, you are probably going to have some naughty food. So plan it and then be okay with it and know that you've decided to have that food and be fully on board fully accepting because we don't want guilt around the food that we're eating. If we are feeling guilty around the food that we are eating, we're going to cause more damage than eating the cake. Very, very important. Now, the main thing is, is for, for guardians is about trust. Do you trust me? Do you trust me to guide you? Do you trust me to assist you? Do you trust me to call you out where you want to be called out? Do you trust me to love you and nurture you? For guardians, it is super duper important about trust within this program, hence why I will probably speak too much and probably give too much detail in everything because I am someone who wears every part of me on my sleeve because you either take me as I am or I'm not your person. And I fully surrender to that. So that's who I am because I know guardians and diplomats fully appreciate that. Some fences might be like, hurry up and get on with the point. So that's why I speak fast. Um, <laughs> Um, so understanding that we are going to work together through this one thing at a time. You do not have to do it all at once. I will support you the whole way through whatever comes up. I'll be there for you. So let's give it our best shot throughout this whole process and we'll see how it goes because I'm in it with you and for you. And then we have connectors. So connectors are about mind and social. It's about how they think and perceive the world and how they interact with humans. They are very empathic. Um, they spend a lot of time each week with their closest friends and have fun inventing sessions. These guys are the ones that might bitch or maybe you'll know, notice within yourself you love gossiping or you love chitter chattering about all the stuff in the office or all the people or all your family members and you're constantly doing that. That's actually a huge connector trait in you is the fact that they will constantly sit there and chitter chatter and gossip about everyone and they will speak their mind in the moment. They will tell you every thought that they're having. How many of you have got children or family members that do this? You know, they, they talk through everything. They want to see every thought and every emotion that's going through their brain at, at the time and they want to touch you and they want to be with you and they want to just 
be around you because you're amazing and they're amazing. These are our connectors. Um, find what they, these people need to find more ways to spend time with people during their meal times. It's really, really bad for a connector to be eating alone. So if your children are like this, try and make sure you're eating with them. If your partner is like this, try and be with them while they're eating and it will calm them down significantly. Um, they like to just hang with their friends and chat a lot. It's really important for these guys to eliminate the carbohydrates in the evening, avoid foods, um, all of their avoid foods. So everything in the red should be avoided after dinner. Smoothies are great for breakfast for our connectors. They need to get exercise that is fun and varied. Group fitness, mystery tours, random workouts, rolling the dice and playing a game. This is the kind of stuff that connectors really thrive on. Um, and it's the, type of, it's the type of timing and exercise that is most important. So morning cardio and low to high interval training for the connectors and afternoon for strength and HIIT training. Keep doing this. Um, every week there is a new challenge, a new goal, and it's the best way for them to really, really thrive in it. Um, reminding our connectors that this is going to be super fun. We're going to have a workout as a team. We're going to nail this thing as a team. We're going to have our biggest focus on challenging each other and, and seeing what comes up and making it fun and varied and letting them know that we do this for four to five weeks and then we have a little bit of a break. I've got a little bit of a, um, has anyone looked at week three yet in the units? No, I'm going to leave that as a surprise and you'll enjoy it. You will all enjoy it when you get to week three. Senses, okay. So senses, it's all about your mind. You need to dial down the senses and reduce the stimulus and the stress and relax. Spend 20 minutes per day in a warm bathtub or a warm shower in a low light with low music. Find some way of having your cocoon. It will 10x give you so much balance and calm in your life. It is super important to stay warm. Make sure that everything on your body is warm all of the time, your hands included. If you have to be wearing gloves in, wear, like fingerless gloves while you're working, do that. If you um, have to make sure you've got a jacket with you 24 seven and a pair of gloves in your bag, do that because it will be the, the be all and end all of staying happy, healthy and safe and balanced. Warm teas and small meals throughout the day are an absolute must and they must be regular. Um, getting your food right. Everything needs to be cooked. Everything needs to be slow cooked or you could have juices or simple healthy carbs um, as an additional energy drink during work time. So juice to sip throughout. Uh, Janae, Janae, you said you were doing, sorry, Janae, I've got one here. It's a cool Janae. Um, you said you were making a juice and sipping that throughout work while you're hairdressing. Was that a good thing for you? Yeah. Yeah. So that was helping big time because she wasn't eating enough. She's a hairdresser and was not eating enough food at all. <laughs> so the biggest change for her was that we're going to talk about the weight gain um, either this week or next week, honey, uh, this week or whatever, but maybe pop the question into the chat and we'll discuss it. I'll hopefully get to that at the end of this conversation. Um, so make a list of the foods that you need for the week and plan out your week of meals. Your for sensors, you must plan, plan, plan. The, the perfection and the, the success is in the plan for a sensor. If you have a plan, you cannot fail and you will feel safe in doing so. So important things to consider is one thing at a time. Not everything at once, just the one thing. Finish that, get on to the next thing. Um, make sure the details and recommendations are very specific um, and they have all the instructions needed to carry it out um, without any doubt of the right thing to be done. It's important that you don't, because you feel like if, you, if you're giving excess energy that you're not counting on, that will stress you. Um, you guys need the details and it has to be step by step and certain. Okay. Everyone, has everyone got their phone with them? Does everyone know where their power hour is? Yes, maybe. Your power hour is in your app under fitness, so if you go into your dashboard and then go into fitness and scroll down, you will have two sections there, and the second one will say your power hour. Now, for sensors, this is evening time, and this is when you are best to be stretching, relaxing, flexibilizing, breathing. Um, you probably you may be able to meditate, but if your mind is busy, just focus on breathing and moving. For our endomorphs, our guardians and our diplomats, yours will actually most likely be when you're asleep or when I you can't should... see it. I can't see it, Shana. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so... Oh, 
Shush phone. Do you want me to go back to dashboard? Yeah, go to dashboard. And then, what did you say click on? Fitness, uh, which will be in the... Ah, in, uh, above lifestyle. So going to fitness. Yeah. And just scroll straight down and it will say, it'll show you your wheel. Then it will show you strength, cardio, flexibility, fitness tips. And then it will say power hour in green. Oh, yes. Got it. So what hours do you have there? Mine are 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Awesome. So it will be when your hormone regulation is happening. So it's very important. If you are waking up really, really early, the power is in the plan. Make sure the night before you have everything ready. Like I did this morning, I was in here at 5 a.m. The most disgusting feeling. I feel so off and I'm actually freezing at the moment. I am actually oh. not coping well. Right. Um, oh, Karen, if you just unmute yourself, go for it. You got to go. Um, what, what does it mean, like, with the power hour? What, what's the best thing to do in that time? So if you then have a look at your lifestyle wheel or just roll up, it will show you in the wheel above, it will say um, between that time, so for me, mine is start uh, sleeping. So okay. most of us, it will say sleeping. So it means that if you're waking up in that time, there's probably a hormone regulation problem that's going on and we'll take that to your doctor and get you some tests done. Because I think mine says something about um, like the hormones are high in that time. Stay stress-free. Yeah. So if you wake up in that time or if you're still awake, make sure you are relaxing. Maybe do some meditation if you wake up to do your best to go back to sleep with ease without stressing yourself out. I'm usually driving. <laughs> 1 to 2 a.m. at night? No, no, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. So, yeah. So, just make sure your mornings, it's so important for our diplomats to make sure your mornings are as cool, calm and collected as possible. You really just yep. want to be rolling out of bed, calmly plodding around, getting your things together and getting in the car, putting on something nice and calming in the, in the morning and just breathing. On the way to work, I always make it a practice to focus on my breathing while I'm driving. And I have a post-it okay. note on my car. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Gives you the best start for the day. Okay, um, so understanding your chronobiology, your power hour is based on so much science and technology. There's actually a document inside of the, uh, I believe it's in week, it's either in the, the welcome or it's in week two, I believe, but it will be in there and there's a cool document that talks about your power hour and the science behind it, if that's something you're interested in. Okay. Then. So, um, Shana. Yep. Sorry. So you're saying that the power hours are in both the lifestyle and the fitness modules? Yeah. So, no, so the fitness module is where you will see the power hour. Your lifestyle and your fitness wheel is where you understand what is required of you within that hour. And most of us, it will be sleep. Okay. If we were to honour our body, it would be sleep. But sometimes work happens and we have to be up at that time. Yeah, sure. All right. I'm going to have to sign off, but I'll try and keep listening. Awesome, honey. No problem. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Okay, so you all have a clock inside your body. So understanding your chronobiology, the central clock in your, we all have, sorry, several clocks. The central one is the day-night cycle. So that's like morning time, night time, I'm waking up, I'm sleeping, whatever it is. When the sun hits your eyes, it activates the, um, the super charismatic nucleus. And this is the part of the brain that helps you to regulate your body's sleep and awake cycle. And when the light hits your eyes, the brain increases its activity ready for awakeness. This is the one of the most robust functions of the body and it can actually take years to fully correct the rhythm when you move country or when you're on shift work and things like that or jet lag, right? It can take a long time. Yeah. Um, your peripheral clocks is the clocks that run your organs and these run on their own time. Each organ has its own clock as well. This is why the wheels exist. That's why we have four wheels. We have the, the general wheel. We have the food wheel. We have the, the, um, the genius wheel, lifestyle wheel, and fitness wheel. So five wheels. Because each part of your body has their own clock, and that clock is specific to you. So, um, However, unlike the day-night cycle, each of these clocks adapts a lot faster to the environment. So night shift workers start to feel hungry at different times compared to when they are up through the normal daylight hours. The body makes these adjustments without, um, out of necessity. However, these organs can adapt very quickly. They become out of sync, though, with the central clock, 
and their function and health department from their normal physiology. This um, desynchronization is the, the reason why night shift workers are at greater risk than any others um, of diseases and illnesses because they are so far out of sync of their normal life cycle. Does that make sense? Yes. Shanna, I'm going to have to go. Um, how do I keep watching this later? So I will download the recording and pop it up into the Facebook group so you can grab it straight from the Facebook group underneath um, the post. I'll, you'll, you'll know it. I'll tag you in it. Oh, terrific. Thank you. Have and a there will be a afternoon. library as well. Oh, great. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. So the normal routine of the body. From research, we know that different parts of the physiolo physiology are heightened and lessened at different times of the day, right? So we, we often are um, aware of our different organs when they are going through their different processes and different cleaning times. So for endomorphs, a lot of us will need to wee in the morning, and that's natural. That's why we don't eat in the morning. We drink um, lots of fluids so that we can hydrate and pass and flush our body and empty out the hormones and the toxins from the night before. Um, and this is important to continue our functions for our body. The images below, this image on the slide gives you a bit of an idea of what is the body function at those times of the day, which is a really cool picture. There's a great um, piece about that one. Um, so, what has got here? Uh, that was not the one I wanted. Great. So, with all of that being said, there's a bit of an understanding of the current biology. Does that help you to understand why we have these wheels and why we have these time frames and um, what our body's requesting from us when we do these things? Does that make sense a bit more? Yeah. Katie, yeah. So the yes, big thing it does. And I think um, once I've looked at the wheels in more detail, I'll better know, you know, uh, maybe have some questions then. Awesome. Awesome. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So um, with this week, it's understanding that you have your your wins. So um, Shanae, you you and I are going to talk about your, are you happy for me to share right now or we'll talk about just quickly for, I think we'll do four minutes about how you're feeling at the moment with your, what's happened with your weight gain? Okay. So over Christmas and New Year's, did you stray off of the, and you can nod as much as you would need to if you don't want to. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go for it. Awesome. Um, so over Christmas and New Year's, you may have played up a bit and eaten a fair bit of food. And since we've been nourishing your body more than it used to, your body will now be in that, your body's in that phase where it's going, do I get to trust you? Should I trust that you're going to keep nourishing me? So it's still, if, um, like we said with the clocks, it takes quite some time, years sometimes to fix our clocks inside of our body. So at the moment, your body is still trying to ascertain as to whether or not it can trust that you're going to keep working in its favor. So at the moment, it's storing a bit of weight. We did abuse it during Christmas and New Year's, right? So now it's just, we're going to spend, not really? You were good? Nice. Very well behaved. And you ate really well according to the plan? So, so, yeah. So you're still, even with that, like there's still that understanding that your body's still going cool. So we've gone through years of neg and neglect. I'm saying neglect in a loving way, but it's just the best word to use. Um, we've gone through years of neglect of not knowing what to do to help my body be the best it can. And now we're probably going to go through about three months where the body goes, yes, yeah, skinny, not skinny. Yes, yeah, skinny. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. And so it will eventually work its way into its new equilibrium. The perfect way for me to give you the example of my own for that is, um, I spent years dieting. I spent years treating my body so poorly and I did every diet. I did every abusive technique you could think of and I got really skinny and I lost my boobs and I lost my bum and I lost everything. And now at 32 years old, I have the biggest boobs I've had in my life and I have gorgeous curves. Yes, I've detoxed and lost six kilos because that was just emotional stuff from my relationship. But there's the understanding that I've taken all this time. I've been with Pietro 60 for three and a half years and my body's finally gotten to a part where it's like, Hey kid, I'm happy. This is good. I feel sexy. This is how I'm meant to be. So it's just giving your body a bit of time to find that real equilibrium. And I, I call it find your body's sexy phase because it will get there. We've done all these abusive things and all these abusive thoughts and feelings to our body for years and now we're just learning to love it again. And it's just trying to trust you again. So it will, you will have ebbs and flows, um, but you gaining some weight may assist you at the moment just to get through some stuff in the new year. And then it will start to balance itself back out again. So I love that you've put weight on. It means that what we've done is working 
and it means that your metabolism will soon fire back up and, and you'll get back to your equilibrium. It's like, the, it's like with bodybuilding, you do like, you do your feeding phase, you do your bulking phase, and then you do your shredding phase. And your body is just doing the bulk to recalibrate everything and nourish everything, and then it will start to get to your healthy flow again. Cool bananas, and at the moment you're having a purge. <laughs> so um, I feel like that should be... Oh, uh, that sounds great. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So I think that should be it for today. I don't want to keep you guys too long. Do either of you have any questions or thoughts for this week? Is there anything that's bothering you? Anything that you're loving? Anything that is of a thought? No. Awesome. Katie, maybe? Katie's good. Okay, so this week, all it is is starting off. Getting through your units. Actually, I might just super quickly do that. Two seconds um units okay so just getting through your units super quick just a reminder on the recap inside discussion is where i will post the day to day and i will post the replays and the links and anything like that everything i do in the units pops up on the discussion section but you can go to the units tab on the side here or often when you scroll down it will pop up in boxes that you can access the units from within the main feed stream but within the units, you've got unit one, which is where the welcome is. Get on through that. Each unit you can mark as done to make sure you know where you're up to. Um, and in here, you've got the um, understanding the revolution, the health types, what are they, the animal descriptions, overview of the platform from Dr. Cam, which all of you will, by the end of this, have a total crush on Dr. Cam, like all of us do as coaches, because um, he's bloody amazing and his brain is just sexy. Um, there's the overview of the lifestyles, driving through the food, which I put that in there because I know a lot of you are very much wanting to know about food and that totally is fine and makes sense. Then we have the different health types as a discussion and a description. You are welcome to share that with friends and family. If you're like looking at some of these descriptions and you're like, that is Kelsey. And I think she is that one. And you'd be like, dude, look at this. Is this you? And then she'd be like, uh, maybe. Like, but I'm happy for you guys to download and share those ones because it creates funny, awesome conversations. And it also means that you might end up with someone as a team member to help you work through this and join you on this journey. And help me with my 500 people, just help. <laughs> then at the, after this, we go down and we have the differences in the health types. So there is activators versus diplomats. So I've, they've done it as opposing health types on the wheel. So app applicators, applicators, activators versus diplomats in nutrition. Guardian versus Crusader in nutrition. Sensor versus Connector in nutrition. So you can see why you're so different to your opposing component because you're also unique. Same with exercise. Um, then we have the week one, which you have the worksheet and the video, the tweaklies, and each health type has their task for that week here. Now, I was going to give you all access to the many chat flow that was in Messenger to help like give you little nudges along the way and be like, hey, how you feeling today? But I know that a lot of you are in overwhelm and I want to trial this program without using my mini chat bot because that one talks to you a lot. But I also don't want any of you to feel overwhelmed and nagged. So everything will be here in the Facebook group and I will use and I will regularly chat to you guys in the Facebook group and be like, how's everyone going? How's everyone feeling? What's the feedback this week? Okay, so I'm, I didn't want to bombard everyone. I want to trial this round without it. Um, and I want to see how your feedback is. If you're like, Shani, you're not contacting me enough and you're not talking to me enough and I need more of your attention, then I want to know that, okay? Because then I can know whether or not that's a useful tool. But otherwise, everything's in here. There's a really cool awareness intrusion meditation. Katie, I would love for you to make sure you get that awareness meditation, intrusion meditation done in week one, um, especially with your space at home. It's going to help you to hone into where you need to focus on cleaning first. Okay. Um, Thank you. And then week two and then week three. So... We're just looking at week one at the moment. That is it. And have a play with the rest of it. Um, feedback, welcome. You can comment at the bottom of each of your units. Just go bang, comment straight below it as to your thoughts, your feedbacks and your tasks for the week. And then if there's any aha, uh -huh, any realizations or any holy shit balls, please share in the public group. Awesome. Love and light. I think you guys are amazing. I appreciate your energy, your time. And I also love that we can do this on Monday because to be honest, the diplomat in me didn't want to do this at night time. It's family time. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to do this during the day. <laughs> love you guys. Have a great day. Any thoughts, any questions, pop them through at any time through messenger or through the group because 
you guys are amazing. All right, see you.